Egyptian mummies from the British Museum's world famous collection. These remarkably preserved bodies have survived for thousands of years. But until now, we knew very little about who these people were, how they lived, and how they died. We old were these people when they died? What did they look like? Where did they live and what did they do? How were they prepared for life after death? It's beautifully painted, isn't it, Max? It's beautifully painted. If it, if it was your mummy, if this was your mummy case, would you? What kind of painting would you have on it? You have I'd lots have, of gold. No, I'd have You'd it. have like pictures of skateboards and surfboards on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have a surfboard on top. Surfboard? What would you have, Jake? Jake would have a saxophone? Mm. And maybe a set of drums? Mm. <laughs> no, I'd have it all painted one color. Mm. Yeah. So... Mine would be a surfboard. What would it say? It would say something. Something. Like what? It would say actually, something. These are words. Do you see they're down the middle? Those symbols, those are called hieroglyphics, and in yeah, in ancient in ancient Egyptian times, that that was word. Those are words. Those Do are still are. Know how to read them? Yeah, if you can understand how to read that kind of writing, then you can read it. That'd be it's cool. Hieroglyphics. And see the symbols all over it. They're all hieroglyphics, telling, talking all about this this person, this woman, and how amazing she was, and all the cool things she did, and how important she was. It's like a diary. Yes, it's like a diary. It's like a death diary. Yeah, that's right. Okay, what's this name? This, this mummy is called... Max, you go first. Max is going to go first. Teus Mutengabuti. Okay, and Jake, your turn. Teus Mutengabuti. And now, Daddy. Tamut. <laughs> Where? It's abbreviated form is Tamut. Yeah, what's the unabbreviated form? Ah, yes. Yeah, you don't bother with that. You just say Tamut. <laughs> Tamut looks quite smart. That's Tamut's feet. Cheeky face. Come and see Tamut's cheeky face. No, it's actually... Jake, what do you think of the boy man? It's a baby. Yeah. It's two years old. Yeah, it's actually yeah, it's a little boy. A little boy that died. <laughs> so it doesn't have any pathological conditions. <laughs> For thousands of years. The next generation of scanners will provide an even clearer picture. We'll be able to see so much more. What else will tomorrow's researchers discover? Perhaps we'll be able to read the hieroglyphs on the mummy's wrappings unlocking their secrets. Or we might find out more about the diseases people suffered from and how they died. How will this transform our understanding of what it was like to live and die in ancient Egypt? And to finish our trip today, that, that helicopter is the first helicopter to fly where, Jakey? Around the world. Around the world. And what's special about that it's helicopter? It's got a Pokemon Go thing. It's got a Pokemon Go thing. What? It's got a Pokemon Go on it. Okay, it's got a Pokemon ball. This was back in 1983 before Pokemon was invented. It was Anyways, okay. Cool. Alright, bye bye, Mummy. What have you found, boys? I found a snake. Rubber snake? This. Yeah, oh, is that. And this. Oh. And that's a 
Yeah. Max is looking in the dirt with the magnifying glass. Uh, how you biscuits? Oh, yeah, genius, Max. <laughs> genius.